Hello and welcome to Southern Maryland Week in Review Edition, a partnership between the Southern Maryland News and the Forest Career and Technology Center's TV video production program. I'm Landreth. And I'm Nolan. And here's what we have for you on this week's SOMD Wire. The Maryland General Assembly voted 17 to 1 on Tuesday to resign an emergency regulation requiring masks to be worn in schools, effective statewide March 1st, approved by the Maryland State Board of Education. A letter sent out by St. Mary's Superintendent Scott Smith expressed that masks would, be not, would not be required for students or staff starting Monday, February 28th. Following Smith's decision, Calvert Superintendent Daniel Curry made a similar announcement. Commissioners championed efforts to expand broadband access and economic opportunity in Charles County during their annual State of the County address on February 22nd. The State of the County is bright and encouraging, Commissioner President Reuben B. Collins II said in his remarks. Collins highlighted several economic development opportunities for the county, including the United States Bomb Technician Association's efforts to move their home base from Colorado to Indian Head. By consensus during a February 15th budget work session, the St. Mary's County Commissioners agreed to lower the income tax rate from 3.1% to 3%. They also approved proceeding with a $16.9 million YMCA in Great Mills as part of the capital improvement plan by a 5 to nothing vote. Funding details will come during the Commissioner's March 1st meeting. We've always used the income tax rate as a barometer for growth, planning commissioner Mike Hewitt said. The Navy base continues to thrive, he said, adding that he believes that the county is re reconcession because of the federal presence in the county. The town of La Plata and the University of Charles Regional Medical Center have come together to spread awareness of the symptoms for a stroke. According to a release put out on Tuesday, La Plata has become the first stroke smart town under their new campaign, Be Fast. You can learn more about the campaign details on the La Plata Town website and their town hall. Now turning to sports. Swimmers from the Southern Maryland Athletic Conference had the chance to earn a berth at this Saturday's Maryland State Swim Championships at the University of Maryland from last weekend's 4A-3A Regional Championship meet. Among girls smack, Leonardtown finished 4th, Great Mills finished 7th, Northern 8th, North Point 9th, and Choptecon 14th. Among smack boys, Great Mills took 4th, Leonardtown 7th, North Point 8th, Northern 11th, and Choptecon 13th. Huntingtown hockey team edges Harford two weeks after being humbled by Charles County in the Chesapeake Cup in an overtime thriller at the Capitol Clubhouse. The Huntingtown High School hockey team emerged with a gritty 4-3 victory over Harford County on Tuesday evening in Maryland State Hockey League playoff opener at the Garden Ice House in Laurel. Huntingtown will next play the winner of Thursday's opening round contest between River Hill of Howard County and Winston Churchill of Montgomery County on Monday, March 7th. That's all we have for you on this week's edition of SOMD Wire. This news brief has been provided by the Southern Maryland News. For more details, visit SOMDnews.com. I'm Nolan. And I'm Landreth. Signing off.